The tantalizing mysteries of Stonehenge may have come one step closer toward being solved. New radiocarbon dates of human cremation burials there indicate that Stonehenge was used as a cemetery from its inception just after 3000 BC until well after the large sarsen stones went up around 2500 BC. Archaeologist Mike Parker Pearson has a new theory that Stonehenge was just half of a large religious complex and also functioned as a huge cemetery. Stonehenge is full of burials. It's our biggest cremation cemetery from that time. With National Geographic support, Mike Parker Pearson leads the Stonehenge Riverside Project. Parker Pearson's teams, excavating the plains surrounding Stonehenge, have discovered the largest Stone Age settlement found in Northern Europe. We knew this was a big village, and I was thinking maybe a few hundred houses. But what we've found out this year is that it was really big. We are looking at well over a thousand houses. Parker Pearson suspects this was the lost city of the builders of Stonehenge. I think what we're seeing is a community that are bringing all their stock with them, coming here for short parts of the year. This isn't a full-time permanent settlement. He has found evidence that people came here to celebrate an important event in their calendar, the longest day of the year, the midsummer solstice. He believes they use Stonehenge as a monument to the dead. Perhaps on the same day, less than two miles away at Durrington Walls, the ancient Britons celebrated life. Here, a vast circular earthwork known as a henge dominates the landscape. It's 20 times larger than Stonehenge and was surrounded by a ditch and bank, 18 feet deep and 30 feet wide. In new excavations outside the henge at Durrington Walls, archaeologists found remains of houses from the third millennium BC. Among the most remarkable discoveries are the remains of an oval-shaped hearth with two thick grooves visible in the floor where the person who did the cooking kneeled. The thing that really got my imagination going was the little knee holes that you get by the hearth over there. And that, that just triggers the imagination of someone every day sitting by the fire to cook or tend to the hearth. And little things like that really get your imagination going. Parker Pearson hopes to find more clues to the Stonehenge mystery over the final three years of the excavation project. His findings are featured in the June issue of National Geographic magazine and revealed in a National Geographic Channel special, Stonehenge Decoded, premiering Sunday, June 1st. Check local listings.